shit, you got me, lady. But don't think for a second that this is over. I'll get my money back in my own way. She's right that the police would never bother with fraud like this, so I guess I'll have to stoop to her level. If I can catch her in the middle of an affair, that'll be all the bargaining chips mm. I need. Hmm? Hmm, <laughs> I just got off work, darling. Mm. Yep, I'm good. I'll see you soon. <laughs> she was laying the charm on thick. That had to have been a guy on the other end. This is looking more and more like I might just get the affair I'm after. <laughs> yep, jailing this lady is the right call. I'll get my money back, and she'll pay for taking nice. it. Alright, just gotta follow her without being seen. Without getting seen. I wasn't gonna jump out because I know that she was eventually gonna turn back around. Gonna jump out yet. Her to move. All right, now she's moving. Well, that was probably where they had that spot right there because she was gonna turn back around. Oh, she's running. She's running. Seems like this is it. Alright, so we finished telling Maki. Looks like this is the person she's meeting up with. Were you waiting long, baby? Oh no, I just got here. It's been so long, hasn't it, Subasa? Yeah, Subasa, do you have anything long you want to give me? <laughs> Damn, Maki, it's only been three days, hasn't it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, she sees that host. No wonder she needs 100,000 yen. These guys aren't cheap. I see you took off your ring. I'm proud of you. Oh, Subaki. I'm a virgin every night for... I'm, uh, I'm a virgin every night for you. <laughs> I'm not going to finish that. Uh, I'm not going to finish that sentence. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Shit. Wow, dude. He's just doing his job, but he keeps he keeps up with her like it's nothing. All right. I need a good pick of this. Something can't 
says something she can't talk her way out of. All right, so now we just need a good, good photo. That photo is just the icing on the cake. Hmm. Could have gotten closer. I think this should still be fine. Yeah, that's that's my problem. I gotta kind of think this shit out because I'm just kind of like, all right. Hey. Oh, ma'am. Did I catch you feeling thirsty? What? You. What are you doing here? What do you think of this pic? Your face came out really nice, I think. What? Didn't you tell your husband that you quit the host thing? I wonder what he'll think about this photo. Hand that over. Whoa, well let's not get grabby. Hey, who the hell are you? Nobody in particular, cougar bait. Or what I say this is just a part of the job. Subasa loves me, you moron. <laughs> yeah, totally, Maki. Then won't you kick this guy's ass in front of me? You said you work. You said you work out, didn't you? W wait, what? Nah, he, nah, he doesn't. I'll give you fifty thousand yen. Uh, no, make it a hundred thousand. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal to me. So he's in it for the paycheck after all. Let's go, asshole. You think you can step up to my lady like that? I'll go easy on you if you don't hit my face. You asked for it. You really want this? Yeah, that was pretty easy. That was no problem. That was a waste. Ow! I told you not to touch my face. T Subasa, are you okay? Hey. Well, ma'am, what's next on your list? I'll give you fifty thousand. Just delete that picture. I say we make it a hundred thousand. That much? It's just a picture. <laughs> sure, the picture comes cheap, but there's a service price for a fee deleting it and my work class photography. Ah, just throwing it right back at her. What's with that stare? Are you sizing me up, you creep? Just think of think of that. You must still have the money you ripped off me, right? Why not just return that? But fine, I'll give it back. Just don't tell my husband about this. Don't worry, we won't say a thing. No more. Yo, you look like you need a drink, man. Oh. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> yeah, this is so awkward. Maki, what are you doing with this guy? Oh, nothing. Uh -huh. Don't tell me you were at that host club again. N no, why would I? What is it then, huh? I'm sorry. Oh, man. Glad I got my money back, but I'm annoyed for getting conned in the first place. More at myself than anything. Just goes to show you can't let your guard down in Camarocho, no matter how well you think you know it. Yep, got the money back, and we ended up completing that side mission, so we're pretty much good. And uh, I think that's pretty much it with that. Yeah, so I am going to continue the story, but I think what I'm going to do, I think off camera, I am going to try to like raise up my reputation just a bit. So I will see you guys in a bit with me concluding with continuing with the story. All right, so we're back and um, I'm actually going to do another um side case real quick before we jump back into the main story and i did do like a couple of things off camera where i did gain like a few new friends around the way um not many but just a few just to kind of like you know get the whole thing going and try to work stuff off camera so mizaki hayama um he, this person says one of our agency's top talent has gone entangled in quite a mess so i'd like you to ass like your assistance i can't get down to your office so would you mind coming to 64 of hotel new debar i'll wait in the hallway please come at 
some point in the day as I'm quite busy at night. And the case is called Entertainment Industry Job. So, we'll accept it. Yeah, no doubt. We definitely do got this. So, we're going to be heading to Hotel New Dubar. Uh, here it is. Right on the map. All the way over there. So, it's a bit way. So, I'll cut when we get there. Alright, this will set six floor, right? Excuse me. Are you Hayama san? I'm Detective Yakumi. Okay. Man hmm. of the hour. Yeah, man of the hour? Call him the problem in many ways. Alright, let's just start from the beginning. Soto. Huh? <laughs> he doesn't want him smoking. <laughs> and he doesn't care. Yeah, please introduce us. Otoyo Shijima, an artist associated with our talent agency. Mm -hmm. What kind of artist? Boy. <laughs> so he's wondering like why we haven't heard of him. Yeah, I'm kind of the same. I don't watch TV that much either. Yeah, so let's do take a seat. <sighs> Scandal of sorts. Hmm. So records endangerment and theft. Oh come on, it's more than ten years ago. I read online and that and that it's past the statute of limitations. Oh well, you could stop or at least pretending to be sorry. He doesn't even give a fuck. Okay, so this is pretty much unfortunate. And it's drawing quite a crowd from the reporters. And it would ruin the whole performance. Especially being caught by him. Yeah, how do we fit in this whole scenario? Well, be a decoy? Mm -hmm. Dress up like him, draw attention of the annoying crowd, media flies away from me. Hmm. Hmm, we could, but <laughs> yeah, like we kind of don't really different looks going on. Huh? Yeah, but like, what do you? Why? Why are you acting like you don't want to do it? Yeah, he's really being sort of, kind of, really someone hard to deal with. Okay, so he's gonna change. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah like what in the world? <laughs> so he's in a new vampire drama. He'll be taking the stage in that costume. Okay. Again, this is in the English dub, and he's talking to you in Japanese. So, I'm Brand Sylvania III, and I have returned from the deepest depths of hell. 
I don't on to me your pulsing blood. Ah. <laughs> Ellipses. <laughs> I guess he's really into the part. Yeah, is it outdoors? Yeah, like, what type of sense does it make for a vampire being out in, you know, outdoors? Especially if it's not nighttime. Progenator vampire? Sunlight can't rend my flesh. Oh, so you're kind of like a. Can I? Oh, I can't say Daywalker because Daywalker is a half human, half vampire. Hmm? Wait a second. You're not expecting me to wear this Lucretis outfit, are you? Unfortunately, we are. Yeah, of course we are. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> Interview with a detective. What we need to do is for you to wear this to get the attention from the reporters. Yeah, we'll take it. As long as I get their attention. Okay. Okay, so the bedroom or Camaro Hills. Yeah, we're pretty much gonna have to head over there. So we're gonna go all the way over there. So I'm gonna zip over there, cut to it, and I'll see you guys there. Okay, I kind of made that more than what it is. <laughs> yeah, we'll take a nap a bit. Or we'll just wait here. There's a ton of media gathering at the venue. Excuse me. Hi. Yeah, I guess it is. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Even a glimpse. This is where we come in. <laughs> this is what it feels like to sink to a new low. Alright. Oh. Alright, so we're now there. We now got the outfit on. This is going to be something fun. Very exciting. Excuse me. That's how I'm feeling how Yakimi is because he really doesn't want to do this. Well, the hairstyle changed, so pretty much fits the bill. <laughs> we pretty much do look identical in that way. As as dramatic as you can as you can when you say it please all right really goes nothing oh oh that's sick I was like what offer unto me your pulsing blood man yeah, they realize it's, it's me as him and they took the bait 
Here they come. There's a whole bunch of them now. Yeah, like, how the hell do we get ourselves out of this situation? Uh. Yeah, this isn't really supposed to happen. So just roll with the punches. A vampire is above the law. I was practicing evil deeds. <laughs> I'm an immortal vampire above all judgment and laws by any scandals past and present. Humanity means nothing to me. Your blood is the source of my limitless power, and I have thrived on it for centuries. Uh, I don't think that's the question I asked. Yeah, but the timing is terrible. <laughs> They don't want to tell me to talk like a vampire. <laughs> well, considering I am dark incarnate, the crimes of my past are simple practice for my future evil deeds. Practice for evil? Think upon it. If I was an upright citizen, would that be more scandalous for a vampire? Well, it was incredible to them. What? You can't just run away from your past? Wow, you sound just like Bram Sama, but I think you might have gone a little overboard. Then what the fuck do you want me to say? <laughs> Alright, so no more messing around. You're not off the hook just because your statute of limitations expired. Yeah, that's right. Bram Sama's theft and has driven the entire corporations out of the business. What? That's not true, is it? Are you just going to keep dodging the responsibility? Don't expect saying sorry will solve all your problems. Yeah, what the fuck do we do? Mm. I'll apologize to all the victims. I shall apologize for each and every one of my victims. How would you even do that? The motorcycle game rampant all over Kanto. Huh? Did we now? Try to apologize to everyone you wrong sounds pretty unrealistic to me. If any apologies, no good. What should I do? Okay, so we'll go with this one. In that case, I shall atone for my sins with money. How would you pay back the people from the past then? Blah. So many fans are in such deep pain over this incident. This isn't something you can just pay your way out of. This is hurting them at the heart. The heart? I have left my weak human heart in the deepest pit of hell. You monster. This is exhausting. I'll do volunteer work. Yes, but you see, I've also considered community service. Huh? What kind? Hmm. Uh, you know, consoling the elderly, picking up trash around Camarocho, that kind of thing. Hmm, wow. It seems like they, seems like Ram Sama is going to perform for the elderly. Is picking up trash around the city? Did that one actually work? I mean, it seems like it. Are you serious about all of this? Of course, a vampire who breaks his word is cursed. This could go viral. Maybe this is a chance to turn things around. Was well, that a bad answer? Well, it seems like to be working regardless. Seems like it is because they got them. Like, oh wow, really? Yagami-san! Hmm, sounds like you made it nice. to the venue. Yeah, like, are they... How the hell... Ah! Can we get in the van?
Yeah, like, how the hell do I get out of here? Do I take off the outfit? Wait a minute, why the fuck is this... I was about to say, are we gonna go Harry Potter up in this bitch? Like, seriously. Let me see if I can take off the outfit. Maybe that'll do it. Yeah, that'll work. Where's Brown Summer? That's weird. He just was just here a second ago. Yeah, he definitely was there a second ago. Now y'all all leave. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty much did great. Yeah, I'm glad too. We got the media on us. Pretty much he ended up getting to where he needed to do. And everything's all good. Yep, seems like they're enjoying it. Yeah, pretty much made it to a stage. But I think he should probably know what I said. Yeah, pretty much, because he doesn't know at this point of what we said and what we brought up, saying that we will do volunteer work, we will do community service. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's like, like, what? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't do no fucking community service. Yeah, it pretty much is great. Yeah, like, why are you downplaying it? Yeah, they really will show your good ways instead of being sort of a person that doesn't really give a shit about things. Come on, man. Doing volunteer work is not bad. No, uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, like, seriously, I'm not doing that. Stop trying to run away from stuff that you know you should need to do. <laughs> mm? He's like, what? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Face your past problems and make up for it. Do good. Don't be a douchebag. Not a fucking child, you're a damn fucking adult. <laughs> okay, yes, I shall now allow chaos to so it seize upon this beautiful world. <laughs> See? Yeah, you can pretty much turn it on instantly. No problem. Yeah, the progression is there. Yeah, I think he can pretty much be a better person from this. And so, pretty much, we got paid. Over 500,000 yen now. And now that that case is pretty much done, um... Huh. I think it's time to kind of get back into the story. So, let's head on over there. Sorry. 